Roy Kinnear's play, his first play, uh, and only play so far, The Herd, uh, was written back in 2013 and first appeared at the Bush Theatre in West London. It actually won uh, the 2013 uh, Critics Circle Award that year. It actually shared the award uh, with um, Phoebe Waller-Bridge's uh, one-man show, or one-woman show, I should say, uh, Fleabag. Uh, so that's quite a good credit for him to have. <laughs> it's a play about a family, basically. A, a family that includes three generations, we see. We see um, the mother who lives in the house that the play is set in, with her daughter who lives quite close by locally, and also her parents, her father and her mother. They're waiting for uh, the arrival of a son who is severely uh, disabled uh, and it lives in a care home and is being brought to the house for a, a birthday lunch. It's his birthday party. So I play the character of Carol who is the mother of the family and she has basically brought up two children pretty much single-handedly one of whom, as Mike said, is severely disabled and now lives in a home and her daughter lives locally and Carol is a fighter, really. She's had to be because she has had to care for both children and of course having a severely disabled child has meant all kinds of other challenges that she has had to deal with. Um, she's an incredibly strong woman in the play, in the very short time period of a, of a couple of hours that the action takes place over, she goes through a whole gamut of emotions, which from an acting perspective is a real joy to be able to do. Um, and I think the only other thing I'd say is that knowing that the play is very much based on Rory Kinnear's own experience of growing up in a family with a severely disabled sibling, I guess as an actor one feels a bit more of a responsibility to do justice to the character because I'm playing Rory Kinnear's mum in effect <laughs> so I just yeah I, I want to make sure that I do her justice uh, in particular so it's a it's a great part that I feel very privileged to be playing. So I am playing Claire who is Carol's daughter um, who for the first 12 years of her life was an only child and then everything got turned upside down uh, when Andy was born and she had to watch her parents struggle with having a severely disabled child and ultimately their marriage fall apart um, and it has left her with some um, hints of trauma in her life. Um, <laughs> she is uh, quite immature in some ways and possibly very mature in others um, but she's a very complicated character. It's been really great to get to know her a little bit more and explore who she is. And I think one of the things I love about her and doing this play is that um, although the situation is very specific to their family, the conversations that Claire has with her family are very familiar. And I think most people will hear them and recognize, um, particularly when Claire reveals that she's bringing uh, a boyfriend home. <laughs> the excitement from her mother and grandmother um, is very pronounced. Um, so I think uh, there's something for everybody in there. You'll find glimpses into your own family, I think, watching the play. It is a play that is very, yeah. very funny. Um, but it's not just a comedy, it's, you could describe it as a tragic comedy because it has elements of pathos, it has elements of, of bathos as well, and, and, and it, it is a very um, poignant play. A lot of what people discuss and a lot of what people say um, will bring an audience to tears. It's a play that plays with your emotions. And I see it as a sort of companion piece 50 years later to, to, to um, Peter Nichols' seminal play A Day in the Death of Joe Egg. There are great similarities to that and I directed A Day in the De Death of Joe Egg whilst I was at uh, university uh, and, and when I read this play, play it resonated with me in particular because like Rory Kinnear um, I grew up um, with a, a disabled sibling. Uh, my brother, my youngest brother Guy, um, who sadly died last year um, rather like Karina, Rory's sister, who died 2020 uh, in the early days of the pandemic. Um, we both, I, I felt a kindred spirit, if you like, uh, that I'd, I felt and I knew and I understood 
the reasons behind the play, the sentiments and the feelings, because I've seen uh, what happens to this family that we're presenting on the stage happen in a sense, in some ways, to my own family and how it, they were affected by having a disabled son in the house. It is beautifully written. Somebody plays the spoons, so <laughs> which is <laughs> which you don't get in too many plays. It is a wonderful piece. We we loved we've loved rehearsing it. We we we're, we're going to love playing it. <laughs> we hope that you're going to love watching it as well uh, and we want you to come and see this because it's a rare opportunity to see a play that is not often performed yeah. um, and um, it is a play that should be performed more often uh, because you know it is a piece that everybody should see if they want to understand about disability and about raising children who are disabled and the effects that having a disabled child has on everybody and I mean everybody um, who's it part of that family so do come and see it buy your tickets please they're online now they're available now and we want to see you between the 14th and 22nd of October please <laughs>